The Secret Life of Trees What is the oldest living thing in the world? What is the heaviest living thing on earth? What is the tallest thing alive? The answer to all three questions is a tree. Trees are all around us. But what do you really know about them? Turn the page and discover the secret world of trees. When you look at a tree, what do you see? You see bark that protects the tree's trunk and branches. The bark at the bottom is old. It is rough and cracked. The bark at the top is young and smooth. The tallest tree. The tallest tree alive today is over 150 meters, 360 feet high. It is a coast redwood growing in California. There is enough wood in its trunk to build 300 houses. When you look at a tree, you can only see half of it. The other half is underground. These are the roots pushing their way through the thick earth, rooting around. The roots of a tree, 150 meters, 360 feet tall, take up the same space under the earth as a football pitch. Roots can spread out through the soil as far as the tree is high. A tree can live longer than all other living things. It may live for hundreds, even thousands, of years. The Oldest Tree The oldest recorded tree in the world is a bristlecone pine. It is an amazing 4,900 years old. A tree needs sunlight and water to grow. High above the ground, the tree's leaves use energy from the sun to make food. Below ground, the tree's roots spread out in search of water. When you look at a tree, you can see a home for many animals and birds. High up in the branches, birds carefully build nests. They lay their eggs out of sight and out of reach of other animals. Under the tree branches, Wasps may build a nest. Insects and bugs live on and under the tree's bark. Insect Disguise Some insects, like these thorn bugs, disguise themselves as part of a tree so they don't get eaten. In the earth, under the roots of a tree, rabbits and badgers 
stick their homes. A tree in summer is an animal hotel. Trees come in all shapes and sizes. But there are two main types. Broad-leaved trees and conifers. A broad-leaved tree has large, flat leaves on its wide-spreading branches. The shady green forests of Europe are made up of broad-leaved trees. Many broad-leaved trees change their leaves as the seasons change. In the cold chill of winter, most broad-leaved trees have no leaves. The leaves have fallen off because there is less sunlight. As spring begins, fresh new leaves open from buds on the branches. The tree wakes up from its winter sleep as the day gets longer and there is more sunlight. By summer, the tree is covered with bright green leaves. Its leaves give shade, shelter, and food to many animals and insects. In the misty autumn, as the weather gets colder, the tree's leaves change color. Some leaves turn brown, others turn bright yellow or brilliant red. Then they fall to the ground. The tree is getting ready to sleep again until next spring. New trees are born when older trees drop their seeds on the ground. A seed faces many dangers. Hungry animals may eat it. Growing acorns. In one summer, a fully grown oak tree can produce up to 50,000 acorns. It may be stepped on and crushed. Most seeds never survive to grow into a tree. Broad-leaved trees protect their seeds. Some put them in a hard shell like an acorn or a chestnut. Not all trees lose their leaves in winter. Some are evergreen like conifers. Conifers can live in colder places than most broad-leaved trees. Instead of wide, flat leaves, they have short, sharp needles that snow slides off easily. Bouncy branches. The branches of a conifer are bouncy, so they don't snap even when they are covered with thick snow. Conifer trees produce hard, scaly cones to protect their seeds. Cones come in different sizes. The smallest is only one centimeter, half an inch long, but the cone of the sugar pine is 60 centimeters, two feet long. A pine cone can help you forecast the weather. 
When it is warm, the scales of the cone open up. They close again when a storm is on the way, so that the seeds are kept dry. Wherever you are in the world, you can usually find trees growing. In the steamy wet jungles, trees grow so close together that hardly any light reaches the forest floor. Thanks to the heat and rainfall, these trees grow faster than other trees. Up to three meters, 15 feet each year. Tree houses. In the African forests, chimpanzees spend nearly all their lives up in the trees. They only go down to the jungle floor to look for food. Tropical trees grow in the warmest countries of the world. Lots of tasty fruits and nuts come from tropical trees. Avocados, dates, mangoes, and Brazil nuts. Coconut palms grow wild on the beaches of many tropical countries. This palm tree's seed is inside its hairy coconut. It contains milk so that the seed can start growing even if it is washed up on very dry land. Killer Trees the seed of the strangler fig grows in the roots of another tree. The fig's roots strangle the tree and cut out the sunlight until the other tree dies. When you look at a tree, you can see where wood and paper come from. The table you sit at and the chair you sit on may be made of wood. The swing you play on may be made of wood. And the biggest secret of all? Even the book you are reading comes from a tree. <laughs>